Hey guys, Happy Dude here. Thank you for deciding to watch this video and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, I found this little Citroen DS here very cheaply on eBay and I was thinking, you know what? Uh, that car looks very familiar and then suddenly it hit me. It's a car from Louis de Finet and that car, that guy just cracks me up. So, of course, I had to buy it. It's brand new and it's from the brand Noref. So, I don't have any cars from this brand in my collection. So, it's a first. Um, it's made in scale 118, like all of my cars, and made out of die cast. So, let's uh, take a closer look at this beautiful Citroën DS. Okay, so to take it off its platform, we only need to remove two screws. Always make sure you're holding the car on the other side. Okay, the screws are out, so now we can take the Citroën DS23 out of its cage. Ooh, and look at that, it looks like there are only a thousand made of these bad boys. And here it is in all its glory. Now, if the card still doesn't look very familiar for you, watch this little clip. qui peut dire sa messe sans mettre une laine. Et l'on vous ouvrira. Alors, je frappe à votre Ne laissez-vous à la porte Ne I just forgot how funny these movies are. It reminds me of Laurel and Hardy. Okay, let's start with the review. First up, the roll test. Now, it's not the smoothest, but it's alright, and there isn't any wobble in the wheels, so that's a very good start. Uh, do we have any suspension action? Oh, we do! In the front and the rear. Oh, oh, wow, that's nice. Uh, and that's also very accurate because these cars were very famous for their hydraulic uh, suspension. You can even raise the car and lower it for on the freeway or for on uh, bumpy roads. And now the dimensions. Let's see if this brand is accurate. So the car is... 27 centimeters long and without the antenna it's 8 centimeters high and probably 10 centimeters wide yeah 10 so the car was about between 27 and 28 centimeters if we multiply that by 18 then we get almost 5 meters and the car is 4.9 meters and a bit so the scale is correct the car also had a 2.3 four cylinder engine with 115 horsepower not bad for that time 
now let's go into detail uh, the paint job actually looks pretty nice very nice in fact yeah okay um the front windshield does have a little wobble in it it's hard plastic so you can't push it in the window wipers are separated um it kind of looks like a boat in the front uh, the headlight does have lights in it and little stripes here the indicators are uh, look very real it's not just a sticker so now that I could uh, do some research on this engine it actually looks very similar to the real car so I'm very surprised um, with the detail on this model this will be the radiator I really don't know if this is very accurate to the real car but it looks uh, very complicated in there this car has two mirrors left and right and they do have a reflection uh, the door handles are also very nicely detailed and we have a little antenna on the roof and it is flexible so you won't break it if you bump it uh, oh the doors also open up oh uh -huh. the right one doesn't want to stay open it's auto close that's a feature on this car um the interior looks very nicely detailed and oh do i see a fabric yeah the whole interior has a very soft fabric oh that's nice and um oh the footrest is um plastic it feels rubbery just like a real car and uh, the seats also uh feel pretty soft it's not hard plastic yeah very nicely detailed oh same with that uh, armrest here feels like a real cushion wow this car is actually very nicely detailed same with the uh, door panel here we also have a handle uh, to lower and raise the window of course it doesn't work on this model uh, the rear doors can be opened uh, that's on a lot of cars so not, not too bad the chrome decals also look very very nice well in fact this whole car has such a beautiful line you love it or you hate it in fact when I was young I thought this car looked very stupid but now it looks so classy i just can't help it i absolutely love it um okay the rear of the car uh, yeah looks pretty nice we are also have a little twin exhaust there looks um uh, the right size for this car the indicators are on the roof on this model looks absolutely beautiful uh, the trunk does the trunk open no no you can't open that well that's not too bad there's usually nothing to see there so this is going to be a very short review I am very happy that I bought this car. The quality of Norev is really not bad at all for uh, for its price.